Cora, what wine is ZD known for? ZD wine. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. And what pairs really beautifully with Chardonnay? Scallops and risotto. That's right. We are going to make seared scallops over a spinach basil risotto. Doesn't that sound yummy? So we already have some shallot and garlic that we're cooking down right over here. Um, and next up, we're going to add the, our secret ingredient. So um, Scotty, if you could divert your eyes for just a second, um, we are going to add a little bit of this. Ooh, it adds real nice depth of flavor. So you only need a little bit, so we're just gonna get a little dash in there. I'm gonna get that stirred around. And then you probably know risotto is a labor of love, but it's worth it because it pairs so beautifully with our Chardonnay. So once we've got this going for a couple of seconds, we're going to get our rice in and we're going to get our uh, rice toasting. And then over here in this stock pot in the back, I have some chicken stock and Chardonnay and a little bundle of thyme. You want those warm so that as you add the liquid, it's already ready to go and it's not going to cool your pan down. You don't want it quite to a simmer, but just below a simmer. So we've got this rice toasted off a little bit. We're going to add about a half a cup of liquid at a time. So I'm going to splash that right in there. And then it's a stirring party. But you know what's great about a risotto stirring party is there's lots of time for drinking Chardonnay. So I'm going to keep adding liquid, stirring as the liquid comes off. I'm going to add in some more. And we'll see you back here in like 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Our risotto is just about there. We're almost out of our cooking liquid. And it is time to sear our scallops. So my cast iron pan is nice and warm back here. I'm going to throw down a little avocado oil. Um, I've just dried the scallops, which is very important, otherwise they won't brown, and then seasoned them simply with salt and pepper. Oh yeah. We're going to go right down. We're going to let these cook for about two minutes on presentation side, and then maybe one on the other side. It also depends on how well done you want your scallops. Um, if you want them to be a little uh, less done, that works too. I'm going to get my final liquid into the risotto, and we're going to come back to put it all together. All right, our scallops are done. I've just got them resting here and we're gonna finish up the risotto. So as you can see, most of my cooking liquid was used. I'm gonna to toss in a little Parmesan cheese because it makes everything better. Um, I did wanna mention also on the cooking liquids, you could definitely use you know, low sodium chicken stock if you're kind of afraid of flavor like my mom. But no matter what, don't use water. It'll taste like water. So now, this is the really fun and exciting part. This is a mixture of blanched and shocked spinach and basil. If you don't blanch and shock it, you are not going to uh, keep this beautiful color. So that's a really important step. And watch it all come together. <gasps> it's gorgeous. And that basil is really just gonna um, impose a really bright, pretty herbal note through, and it pairs really beautifully with the wine. Then we are gonna come over and it's time to plate. Oh, the basil smells so good. So I have a ring mold. If you don't have a ring mold, don't worry about it. Just pile it on up, put it in here. This is enough for two very generous portions. Um, and I planned on three scallops per person. We're gonna pile it up. It looks so pretty on this dark plate. Like pat it down a little bit just to make it extra fancy. Scott's pretty fancy, so he likes ring molds. Lift it. Oh, gorgeous. And then it's literally just wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. If you had a little toasted panko, that would be really beautiful over the top too, or some chopped chives or parsley, but this is what it's all about. Pairs so beautifully with the wine. We hope you enjoy this one. Cheers.